What's up, cuties? cuties? Welcome to our video, and today's a very special one because we have a special guest, and his name is Hyunjun. Yes. He's our mentee, and currently he's trying to grow his channel. Yeah. And his channel is called By June, and he creates a lot of crazy, amazing DIYs, DIYs that are related to a lot of games. Yeah, a lot of games and movies like Battle the Guns from the Battle. What? Battleground? Battleground? Yeah, Battleground and even the Iron Man mask. Some kind of like Marvel, like what? Like Iron Man. Like that. Like the one that's like that. Ah, you can go. And a fidget spinner and so many crazy stuff. So you cuties must check him out. 안녕하세요 유튜브 크리에이터 바이준입니다. 네 저는 DIY 쪽으로 어 하고 있고요. 방금 전에 설명하신 듯이 여러 가지 하고 있으니까 어 앞으로도 더 많은 것을 만들 예정입니다. 많이 구독 부탁드려요. Today, what we decided to do is we decided to gift swap something that we made for each other since we both do DIY. So for me, I created some kind of garment for Hyunjun and Hyunjun created earring holder, holder. for us. Yeah. yeah. But we haven't seen it yet. Yeah. So we're gonna see each other's reaction. Yeah. But we told him to give us a good, good reaction. reaction? <laughs> 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 he put the earring holder inside this cereal box. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god! 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 This is so similar. Oh my god! So you put an earring here? Here, there's a holder right there. Do you see that? Ah. Right there? Oh, this is what I'm doing. This is the chalk. Oh, so cute. This is what I'm doing. 진짜 흙을 붙였어요. 아, I ain't groove. I'm groove. 아 이렇게 하면 되겠다. 아 그래. 아, something like that. Oh, oh my god, so this is crazy. 그래서 이렇게 페인트를 so 하신 거죠. 바니쉬 마지막에 발랐어요. 아, 이렇게 막 깔짝 깔짝한 하는 거죠. 얼마나 걸렸어요 이거? Look at the holder. It took him two days to make this. 감사합니다. 진짜 많이 들어요. 진짜 너무 귀여워요. So here go. Our gift. Wow. 이 패턴이 그 자카르타 인도네시아 그 트래디셔널 전통 천이거든요. 바틱이라고? 바틱? 예, 바틱이라는 그천 무늬예요. 그래서 그 천으로 한 거예요. 우리 패션업. <laughs> Are you sure he's liking it? <laughs> 이걸 받아낼 수 있을까요? <laughs> 할수 있을 거예요. 어이 보세요. 와 너무 알록달록한데요 이거. 요새는, 요새는 이렇게, 이렇게 알록달록한 게 같이가. 유행이에요. 꽃무늬보다 낫잖아요. 그렇죠. 좀낫잖아요 네. 네. 이렇게 하시면 그냥 남방 입은 것처럼. <laughs> 여기 이게 포켓도 있어요. <laughs> Are you sure? 이런 모습이 나쁘지 않지 않아요? 괜찮네요. 네. These are the pattern from the fabric that our cuties from Jakarta gave it to us. Yeah. It's your traditional pattern called batik. batik. And I made sure this pattern goes on the center like that. Uh -huh. Like this. Yes. And there's a little pocket in the front too. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Really. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now add seam allowances accordingly to the measurements you see on the screen, then cut two for the front bodies. Add seam allowance accordingly and for the back bodies, cut one on fold. Trace half of the sleeve on a clean sheet of paper and it should look something like this. Add seam allowances accordingly and cut two on fold for the sleeve. For the pocket, draw a rectangle that is 5 inch wide and 5 and 3 quarter inch tall and add seam allowances accordingly and cut one. Next, we're going to create center front facing by tracing the entire 3 inch width section of the front bodies. Add half inch seam allowances at the raw edges and cut two for the center front facing. Let's create the collar. First, draw a perpendicular line with a width that is equivalent to the addition of the length of back and front neckline. When measuring the neckline, make sure you measure the actual seam line rather than the neckline of the seam allowances. Similar with the front neckline, make sure to measure the seam line but starting from the collar notch. Next, draw another perpendicular line that is half an inch tall. Then connect the tip to the shoulder notch and it should create a slightly curved shape. Then draw another perpendicular line that is 3 inch tall. Finally, complete the pattern by drawing 3 inch width collar. Add seam allowances accordingly and cut 2 on fold for the collar pattern. And that's it! Grab the center front facing and fold the raw edges in half an inch and sew it in place in a zigzag stitch. For the sleeve, fold it in half and sew the underarm in half an inch seam allowance. For the collar, place right sides facing each other and sew the style line, not the neckline of the collar together in half an inch seam allowances. Here is how the center front facing raw edges finishing should look like with a zigzag stitch. Next, place the center front facing and front bodies facing right sides together and sew the center front in a quarter inch seam allowances starting from the collar notch and all the way down to the hem. Flip the collar inside out and we're going to top stitch around circumference of the side line. Just stitch it about 1 8 to quarter inch away from the edges. For the sleeve, finish the hem by turning half an inch once and one and a half inch again and it should look something like this. For the front bodice, after attaching the center front facing, the center front should look something like this with a clean top corner. Now place the front and back bodies facing correct size together and sew the shoulder and side seams in half an inch seam allowance. For the sleeve, sew the armhole of the sleeve into the body's armhole in a half an inch seam allowance. Once you're finished, it should look like this. Next, attach the collar neckline to the body's neckline in a quarter inch seam allowance starting from the collar notch. Once you're done, iron the raw edges of the neckline facing towards the bottom and fold the top raw edges of the center front facing inwards so that it is clean finished. Repeat the same steps for the other side. Then we're going to top stitch starting from the bottom of the center front facing and all the way up to the corner and the entire neckline and down to the other side of the center front facing. Once you're finished, it should look something like this. Next, fold the hem half an inch once and one inch once and stitch it in place to clean finish. For the pocket, fold each side and the bottom in half an inch and fold the top in one inch and iron the seam allowances. Place the pocket at the left side of the body's bust and stitch it in place. Finally, create four buttonholes and attach four buttons for closure and you're finished. 